Hey guys, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. All my pictures are edited exactly this way. I never change it up. That's why I have a very consistent feed. So if you guys want to see how I edit my pictures, make sure to keep watching. And also, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. All right, guys. So I'm just starting off with a picture of me. This is like a picture I took the other day. If you guys can see, it is unedited. So so you can see all my like pimples, my skin's not smooth, my lashes are a bit off-scented, my lipstick looks good though, so it's okay. <laughs> so the first thing that I usually do is I go onto my Snapseed, so I share the picture onto my Snapseed. Now if you're an Android hater, okay, don't, don't hate on me just because everyone else has iPhones. I prefer Android. Don't click out yet. <laughs> so I'm just opening this on Snapseed and I actually already have a preset on my Snapseed which I always use on my pictures and it kind of just like sharpens everything and it also kind of brightens everything as well. For the purpose of this video, I won't be using that so I'll use my current picture. Snapseed is free. Basically, I think you have to pay like $5 or something initially. What I usually do is that I go into the tool section of Snapseed and I just crop my picture first of all the crop setting set to like a square setting so that I could just you know post it on Instagram so I'm just kind of like seeing where I'd like to crop it I think I'll crop it like this and that looks good now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go tune the image and this is where you can control like brightness saturation all that stuff for the overall picture so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and if you just kind of like hold the screen and scroll up and down then you'll see all the options now to start off with I'm pretty happy with the brightness but if you want to see what that does it obviously just like updates the brightness of the picture but I like how it looks so maybe you contrast I basically just go around playing with this seeing what I like about this picture because I'm wearing a red lip I might just do a bit of contrasting. So I'm gonna do like an extra like six. And then saturation, I feel like my picture is like well saturated, so I'm quite happy with the way that looks. So I'm gonna keep that there. Ambience, that's just kind of like how glowy you look, you know? Nah, nah, no ambience. And then highlights, this is all the bright points of your face and the background. So you can see like my highlight and my face where it's highlighted and my nose highlight and stuff is getting really bright. And the background as well because that's white, but I think that's fine. And then the shadows, you can crush the shadows to make it really like black, kind of like really distinct shadows. Or you can kind of fade them out, but I think that they look fine. Overall, I think the only thing that I changed was was the contrast which was before everything else I like exactly as it is so I'm gonna keep that like that so now go into the detail section and this is where you can kind of make your picture look really high quality I find that these apps tend to break down the quality of the image so for me it's really important to bring that back up and then structure okay it just is too much it's too much what I'm gonna go ahead and do is sharpen my image because I like a really sharp image so it looks like really you can see my pores basically so you can see my skin texture you can see all of that i really like that it makes everything really just pop in my opinion so i like that look i feel like that's a good look i mean you can add a few things um if you really want if something's a bit off i know a lot of people like the grain tool so you can add some grain to it if you really like i don't like grain i don't think it's cute but that's a personal preference. So that's basically all I do in Snapseed. I use that as kind of like my basic editing tool and just kind of getting the picture in the right tone, right color. But I quite like the way it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So just press done. In Facetune, I just open the photos. Usually it comes up as like the first photo because I just edited it. And now this is where like, I find that the magic really happens because it's where you just snatch yourself, you know? So in Facetune, I really go in on my face, okay, yeah, I have so many pimples this day. But what I do is I use the patch tool and then I just go in on the pimple and widen the patch tool because this is a large area basically that I'm trying to hide and just apply that. What the patch tool does is that it gets another section from your face and it replaces the current section with it. So if you want the pimple to be gone but you want the texture to still be there, you just tap on the pimple and then move it around to see which section of the face is clear 
and that you want to replace the pimple with and then apply that and then you look like you don't really have pimples but you still have texture in your skin if that makes sense it it takes a lot of work to do this but it is worth it because seriously if you have like bad skin like me you just know that this is it's just a mess seriously it's a mess so okay so i've got a huge ass pimple here as well um yeah okay i feel like that's fine there's still like little pimples but it's okay I, I usually just smooth that out so now i'm gonna go ahead and use the smoothing tool i kind of lightly tap on the area so it still gives you texture right i don't know if you guys can see that it still gives you texture, but it also gives you just a smoother appearance. When people zoom in, they're gonna see like it's still your skin, but better, you know? So now I feel happy with the smoothing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with the detail tool and the detail tool is where you go in to make everything pop out. For the detail tool, I'm gonna use that on my lips because I really want my lips to just stand out and I tap on my nose, like tap, tap on my nose so the highlighter pops but not like rub it I don't know rubbing makes a bit of a difference than tapping and then I just tap on the bridge where I have my highlighter and then I also just go on my eyebrow and just kind of tap along there as well and then on my eye makeup I just kind of swipe over that as well so that really makes that pop you know makes that look good and I'll just do my eyebrow as well. You can kind of see like, I don't know if, if this is showing you guys, but it just makes it pop that little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in and go onto my hair as well. So this really helps like your hair pop, like your curls will be looking good with this. I just like the way my hair looks when I add the detail tool to it. So I just add detail, detail, detail. So then from afar, you can really just see that the curls have popped you know you can see that before and after like the curls are so popping my lashes are so bad but we're not gonna do too much for those because you can't really see those they're not like the most noticeable thing from where you see the picture from so i'm not gonna bother with that now i'm gonna go ahead and whiten my eyes i naturally just have really reddish eyes and i look tired so i just go in there and whiten those up a bit and just to give me like a bit of like a refreshed look because girl sleep is a you know it's a commodity around here <laughs> and then i just wipe my teeth a little bit as well so it's not so bad but then to finish off with because i feel like everything else looks hella cute so i'm gonna go ahead and maybe just do a bit of detailing on my dress because i like the way the dress looks and i just want the pattern to really stand out so i'm just gonna add some detail to the dress so that that pattern really stands out so you guys can see okay cool i'm pretty happy with that now i'm gonna go ahead and add my filter so i add a filter on facetune because i use a planning app and the planning app just posts my pictures automatically but this is 3 a.m at night in the morning for me because that's the best time for me to post apparently so i'm not awake at that time so my planning app posts for me but it does not have the filter that i like so facetune does and i just go to the filter section and the one that i use is sapphire and i always have it on 20 that's where that's my all my pictures are like on sapphire 20 just to keep consistency to be honest i always have the same filter you know i just apply that and basically that is it like i'm pretty happy with it this is the before pick and this is after like yeah i don't know I, I feel like the main thing that i do on my pictures is just kind of like take out the huge ass pimples and then correct the color a bit and yeah that's basically it so i go ahead and just save this photo you guys will not see this photo on my Instagram because I don't think I have this photo on my Instagram, but it's hella cute. It's hella cute. Yeah, so that is basically it for this video. That is how I edit my Instagram pictures. It is all the same. On Snapseed, you can save the settings that you've applied to a picture and keep reusing it like I've done. But otherwise, you can just fine tune everything itself and just play around with the app. I personally like these apps because they're straightforward to use and they're really cheap, if not free. So if you guys want to see any more Instagram related videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'm happy to make those as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video.